today, I'm gonna to be giving you my first impressions of my 600 brake horsepower Volkswagen Golf R. Isn't that funny that my music does that? Every time I close the door, it like stops the music. Let me try that again. <laughs> it's clever, isn't it? Anyway, uh, Golf R, that's why you're here. Volkswagen Golf R, let's, uh, let's start the engine. Six hundred brake horsepower in a Volkswagen Golf. Now, who would ever think that would ever be possible? This is a road car. Like, it, it, it's really odd. Even I'm struggling to, or still coming to terms with it. But when you look at this car, this is one thing that I really like about it. You look at it, and it looks understated. It looks, I wouldn't say it looks subtle because Golf R's obviously they do look a little bit leery, but it just looks like a bog standard Golf R. Now, one thing I do like about the looks of it that's really like stood out for me is um, the little Miltec tail tips that stick out the back. I just love the four sort of bold looking chrome tips sticking out the back. I suppose the biggest thing that everyone's gonna wanna know is um, why, why have I bought this car? What's, what's my reason for buying this car? Is it the GTR replacement? Um, firstly, before I actually move on, so telling you why I bought the car, I want to say a massive thanks to Nick and to Arthur, like a pair of lovely guys. Obviously I spent a bit of time with Arthur on camera in my last video. What a lovely old man, like seriously, like I expected he was just gonna be, um, <laughs> sounds crazy, but I expected he was just gonna be a bit of a grumpy old man, but he's such a bloody nice guy and it's so cool to see him in an AFCO sweater on, um, on the day of filming. Uh, but yeah, he's such a nice guy and shout out to Nick as well. He managed the sale of the car brilliantly. He's very organized and, and it couldn't have gone any better. Um, so, uh, the car, why have I bought it? The reason why I bought this car is because obviously I, I had just announced that I'd, I hadn't quite announced it yet. I'd just filmed the video of selling my GTR. My plan or the reason for selling my GTR was just to have some fun with cars, to have some fun with filming and kind of create content for my channel you know I'm buying and selling cars daily well I want to buy some toys I want to buy things that are fun so um, that was my my incentive or my motive for, for buying it and when this come up for sale I was like well no it's sorry it didn't actually just come up for sale what had happened was I was talking to Ricky and Ricky was saying because Ricky had just uploaded the video of this the engine going bang on his car and I thought Ricky I can't believe that happened what are they gonna do with the car now and they said it's at VRS in Northampton getting a new engine put in it. And Arthur's buying a, a big power TTRS. And I was like, right, what are they doing with the Golf R? And Ricky's like, do you know what? I don't actually know. So Ricky rang Nick and blah de blah. And within a couple of weeks, uh, VRS had fixed the car, sorted it all out, and oh, I filmed the video buying it. So it all happened quite quickly, but like I said, I'd never had any intentions of doing it. My first impression, so my plan was on that day was to go to film uh, the car, go to meet Nick, Nick and Arthur, and um, 
go and film the video and on the way back film my first impressions now that would have been ideal to do that because it would have been a genuine like wow I've never driven this car before let's see what my first impressions are of it now by the time we got done that day it was just do not fighting with the dark when you're filming it it's a pain in the ass because you're constantly trying to uh, film like even now it's what is it it's midday and it's looking a bit grey you know just straight away there's signs of not darkness but the sun's going down the sun doesn't fully come up so it's a bit of an, an annoyance when you're filming so that day I got into the car um, and it was pitch black I actually filmed tried to film it I was like nah this ain't happening yeah it's definitely too dark to film that's very annoying and I haven't really driven it hard since I bought the car on Monday this week it's now Friday and I've purposely saved the power for today because I wanted to get it on camera now when you watch back at the video of me collecting the car like I borderline myself when Arthur was driving I'm not joking I was absolutely shocked by how powerful this car is at all so I'm, I'm okay Arthur I believe it's a quick car yeah all right. <laughs> and like I keep saying what's really odd is firstly the way it looks it looks so understated it just looks like a little bit of a sleeper it's not really a sleeper but it does look very understated and secondly when you drive it like now it's quite a calm car it's got a bit of a bit of a purr out the back but golf have got that anyway so when you come to the moment when, especially when you're sat in a passenger seat and the driver puts his foot down, it's absolutely shocking. Like, it, it is, it's a joke. Now, my temperature has raised a little bit now, and, and obviously these are things I really want to keep my eye on because I want it to be, um, I, want to, I want to look after it, you know? It's currently at 70 degrees, which is the perfect temperature, and um, what I'll do is, flip the gearbox to manual mode I'll put my left indicator on and I'll go down this road drop it to first and I'm gonna show you like I have done it a little bit but not big time it's <laughs> it's like a bloody rally car like, I've never you just <laughs> you don't expect it now What the real odd thing is, is um, in a video, every bloody car, like every car I've driven on my channel that's fast, or a good example of a channel is Ricky's channel, Living Life Fast, every single car that he gets out in looks bloody quick. And it's really difficult to tell through a camera, uh, like for you guys right now, you're watching this video and you're visualizing it in your head, like 600 brake horsepower, two liter turbo engine, and you're trying to visualize what, um, what could this car be like? And every car, like I say, does look fast through camera. Now, oh, it's so difficult for me to put this into perspective. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's, uh, how can I explain it? Imagine a little two litre four cylinder engine uh, that started off life as 300 brake horsepower, that started off life as already a fast car, and doubling the power, um, and then adding meth and, and big turbo, and just... It's ridiculous. It's almost like perfect. And obviously, with a Golf R, let me turn the heating down, it's freezing outside today, and I've turned the heating up full whack. Um, don't need it at full whack now. Obviously, Golf R's, you all know, I'm a huge fan of them. I'm, like, I'm genuinely, I'm a massive, massive fan of the Volkswagen Golf R in general. It's nice inside. I love the gearbox. I love the way they drive. And it's a four-wheel drive sports hatch. Like, everyone loves a sports hatch. And this one has got, it's got four-wheel drive. So, I am a big fan of them. Uh, but to get one with double the amount of power, for me, was just so exciting i just had to have it um and bear in mind this car has had 1.8 million views on the video that ricky done that video absolutely took off and do you know what 
respect to Ricky. That video, I remember turning that video on, and obviously the title and everything, this 75-year-old man has got a 600 brake horsepower Golf R, and um, that reels you in, and then he dropped that intro that was like, and if you haven't seen it, which I'm sure probably all of you have, the intro was phenomenal, and, and I think my memory of that video, of me sitting there watching it was like, Ricky's absolutely smashed it with this intro. Credit to Ricky for doing that. Uh, but the video itself tied in with like Ricky's intro, Arthur, uh, the 600 brake Golf R, it was kind of like the perfect recipe for a video to go viral. And it did, you know, and like I say, it got 1.8 million views. And again, for me, like I did pay quite strong money for this car, but if I'm honest, it was based on the fact that it's it's basically a famous car, you know, it has had all them views. So yeah, that was definitely a big factor for me, massive factor. And <laughs> um Ah, oh, shocking. I wanna say as well, bear in mind like from a driving point of view, um I love fast cars, but from a passenger seat point of view, you, well, a lot of you already know that, I, I don't do passenger rides at all. You know, like, I went on the like, Dragon roller coaster at Legoland once. I can't deal with not being the driver. Like, I got off that roller coaster and I'm not joking over. And I was like, nah, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I, I, nah, me and Alton Towers, Fort Park, roller coasters, passenger seats, um, it ain't me. But being the driver, love it absolutely love it <laughs> and with golf R's, they're so drivable like you've got so much confidence when you drive the car like this it, like i say it's a sports hatch with four wheel drive so um the fact that it's 600 brake yeah it's scary but it's um it's such a reassuring car to drive there i believe that almost anybody with a driving license could jump in the driver's seat of this put their foot down and sustain a certain amount of control. So to summarize, my first impressions of my 600 brake horsepower Volkswagen Golf R is, it's, <laughs> it's absolutely shocking. Like what, what do you expect my first impressions to be? Is it fast? Yeah, it's ridiculously fast. It's, it's um, like I keep saying, a little engine with a huge turbo. Um, shout out to Turbo Technics as well for, for supplying Arthur with a brand new turbo. Like, that turbo provides the full character and personality for this car. Without it, it wouldn't be what it is right now. So, uh, I, I don't know too much about turbos, but I do know that the way this car delivers power, again, that I think that deserves a bit of credit to VRS in Northampton. Their map combined with that Turbo Technics Turbo, it's just like the perfect combination. So yeah, answering your question that you haven't even asked me because I've given it to you, is what are my first impressions of the Golf R? Honestly, I absolutely love it. My plan, like I say, is to buy bits of fun. I want to have fun cars around me. I don't want to do videos on them. Like I am a car trader, but the reason why I'm a car trader is because I'm passionate about cars. I love cars and high performance cars is obviously where it's at. I've kind of gone for a little, like, I'm, I'm going for a bit of a funny, uh, is it a transitional period? I don't know, it's not even that. I'm going for a bit of a funny phase in life where I'm kind of questioning the purpose of a supercar because sports hatches and sports cars have so much power nowadays or they've got so much potential that you know golf R's are racing ferrari 458s and even ferrari 488s for example on drag strips and they're beating them so a golf R you can drive it daily and it's comfortable and i just i don't know they're just a little bit i don't know, I don't know about more exciting but I don't know, I'm just really liking the whole sports car, sports car and sports hatch thing at the minute. So um, so yeah, this kind of fits well within 
how I'm feeling about cars myself in a minute. The plan, the plan of my channel was, like, I'm a car trader, I buy and sell cars. Now, I, I like to buy things that are special, things that are different. This car has been seen by over 1.8 million people. To me, that is ex makes it extremely special. And um, I think what I want to do is buy and sell. Obviously, I'm still doing my, all my other cars, which you lot don't actually see on the channel. But um, I am going to be buying and selling some really fun stuff and I've got a whole list of cars in my head that I want to buy uh, and they consist of things like I don't know like a, an M3 competition pack it's not a normal M3 F80 um, but the competition pack is obviously preferred um, let's just get out this roundabout C63 AMG I've got a huge bug to get in the driver's seat at one of them um, what else just so there's so many cars so many bloody cars but uh, but yeah, that's my kind of plan with the channel. I am going to be buying and selling as much. Do you know what's really shocking is the gearbox just tolerates the power so well. It just puts up with you just cane it through gears. Like, that's a serious gearbox, isn't it? That's that's actually a standard gearbox. Just had a, a tighter map um, by VRS. But uh, anyway, I just that just sprung to mind as I was telling you about my plans. The plans, so yeah, I want to buy, I've got a whole list of cars, I can't even think what they are at the minute, but I keep seeing cars on the road, I think, I want one of them, I've got to get one of them. Um, that's going on the lorry load list. I'm gonna leave it as that. I, I'm sure there's plenty that I could have spoke about, plenty more even, uh, but I think you get the idea, this, this 600 brake, Golf R was meth injected with a huge turbo on it. It's absolutely crazy. And uh, it's probably just as crazy, if not a little bit more crazy than you or I could ever have imagined. So um, it's met and exceeded more than more than met. It's exceeded my expectations. It is absolutely brutal. And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> when I sat in the passenger seat with um, Arthur driving, you know, like in your head, you look at this 76 year old man and you know, he's, he's forgetting words and that. He's taken the, um, um, the uh, oh my God, my brain's going. And he's behind the driver's seat of a car that I'm in the passenger seat with and it's got 600 brake horsepower. The, um, oh my God, my brain's going. It just, I don't know, it kind of, in your mind, you're looking at this scenario and thinking, I'm the guy that should put myself in the passenger seat of this car. And uh, to be fair to him, he can drive. But, <laughs> something within me just made it sort of not feel very right. Hence uh, my reaction on the day of, of buying the car. Yeah, it's, it's bloody fast over, isn't it? <laughs> Not bad, is it? It's unbelievable. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna leave it as that. I uh, hope you like the video. Uh, me and Ricky have actually got some plans for showing you how quick this car is. Uh, that video probably wouldn't have gone live yet. I haven't even filmed it yet, so it might not even happen. But if it does, uh, be sure to check out Ricky's channel because um, we're gonna be having some fun in this car. And obviously on my channel as well, I'm gonna be doing a bit more content on this as well whilst I've got it, all right? So, yeah, thanks for watching. Obviously, if you like the video, I'd massively appreciate you hitting that like button. Um, comments, got any comments, uh, hit me with some below. Share, YouTube love it when you click share. And obviously for me, it's great because it exposes me to a few more people. So if, if you've got anyone that you can share this video to, do hit that share bu button. And if you are new, uh, do hit subscribe because I've got plenty more videos coming. My camera did just stop recording then, that's so annoying. <laughs> but. Yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Diary of Car Trader. Bye. In the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader, I take the golf for an MOT and I get it cleaned.